I got rainbow. I died. Oh, but I got rainbow. I got rainbow. Yes. Yes. Let's go. Yo, what is going on YouTube? My name is Rich or right away. I hope you guys are all doing well today I got a brand new Call of Duty Black Ops 4 video now in today's video guys We are going to be going over uh, the best class setups to run in Black Ops 4 the top five Best class setups to run in Black Ops 4 constantly whenever I'm streaming or whenever I upload videos uh, People always ask me right away. What gun is that? Uh, what attachments are you running? What gear are you running? What perks are you running? So I just said you know what let me just make a video here and uh, basically show you guys my top five class setups that I always run in this game. As I'm recording this video, I am Prestige 7 at the moment, 3.20 KD. My KD was like a 3.5, then I started to go for Dark Matter, then I started to go for Headshots, and started to go for Hardcore, and the KD dropped down a bit, but we're at 3.20 right now. Two win loss as well, which is definitely not too bad. Now, there are definitely you know, five certain weapons that I use personally every single day on Black Ops 4, and I just want to give you guys all the class setups that I usually run, how to rank up fast, how to get better at the game, and just give you guys some overall uh, tips and tricks for black ops 4 so if this video helps you guys at all please drop a like as well uh definitely subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new once you guys do drop a like it gets the video more out there lets people know what's the best class setups to run so just you know support the video drop a like all that good stuff so as of right now i actually just prestige last night to prestige 7 i am level 1 and you unlock create a class level 5 so we're gonna head into custom games so i can show you guys all my class setups because i don't have create a class unlocked right now so either way starting off with the first class setup here is going to be the i CR, hands down the best weapon in Black Ops 4 at the moment. Uh, this thing's a, a freaking beast, this, and you'll probably go into Black Ops 4 and just see everyone using this weapon because it's a little bit broken, and this thing needs a nerf ASAP. But use the ICR before it gets nerfed because it, it's pretty insane. So for the attachments, I have Reflex, and I have Grip, I have Grip 2, and I have Quick Draw. Moving on to the gear, though, I have Acoustic Sensor. People always ask me, do you use Stim Shot? Do you use Body Armor? No. I pretty much always use Acoustic Sensor because uh, enemy movements are easier to hear, but something that it actually doesn't tell you in the description is that uh, enemy pings show up on your minimap. So whenever there's an enemy around you, there'll be a big red ping in the same exact direction they are coming from. So uh, it's basically like Sixth Sense from Black Ops 3. I love acoustic sensor so much. If you guys don't really find a need for acoustic sensor, want to run stim shot or want to run body armor, I mean, I guess you guys can. These class setups are very, very, you know, flexible and you guys can, you know, rock whatever you really want. I'm just kind of giving you guys a base, a little starting area for whenever you're making class setups. But moving on to the perks, I have scavenger for those long streaks, of course. Then I have gung-ho i think gung-ho is probably the best second perk uh because you fire your weapon and use equipment uh, while sprinting but also you can recover from your sprint faster uh which is really really nice you can get your sights up as fast as possible and you can recover from your sprint i like that a lot i like gung-ho dexterity is also really good too because you have increased weapon accuracy when jumping or mantling so if you want to run you know dexterity or want to run gung-ho you guys can i see a lot of people you know running lightweight i just don't find the need for that and then for perk three i have dead silence uh you get to move quietly and also uh, you resist uh detection from acoustic sensor so when other people on the other side or on the other enemy team are using acoustic sensor uh, you get to actually resist that and you won't show up on the mini map which is really really good and with the ICR with grip and grip 2 uh, this thing basically has no recoil it's kind of insane so moving on to my second favorite class up here is the vapor XKG for the attachments I have elo suppressor rapid fire and stock I like the suppressor on this weapon because you kind of move a little bit more silent you're you're a little bit more silent you're not appearing on the radar uh, this class setup overall is amazing I've dropped plenty of nuclears with this class setup over Overall, one of my favorite guns in the game. Uh, moving on to the gear, acoustic sensor. Once again, if you want to switch it out for stim shot or body armor, feel free. For the perks, scavenger, gung ho, and dead silence. If you guys don't find the need for scavenger by any means, you know you guys can run flak jacket or tactical mask. If you guys are getting hit by a lot of nine bangs, maybe you guys might want to run tactical mask. Or if you want to switch it up a bit, you can uh, kind of remove rapid fire because rapid fire is a little bit risky on this class setup. The gun doesn't have too many uh, bullets in the magazine, so maybe I would just run suppressor and stock, and then you have another uh, opportunity to run maybe scavenger and like tactical mask or maybe remove tactical mask for uh, for flak jacket so you can definitely customize these class setups how you want them and just kind of for your play style but this is just what i would run personally either way this is a great class setup as well moving on to custom class number three we have the swordfish this is the only tactical rifle i'm going to be uh you know talking about within this video right here swordfish hands down one of the best weapons in the entire game i permanently unlocked it when i first got the game uh which is absolutely amazing so for the attachments i have reflex i have quick draw high caliber 
and long barrel. This thing with high caliber, you can one burst people, you know, time to time, and it's, it's crazy, man. I love quick draw. I also love long barrel on this gun. Hands down, one of the best burst weapons. It is a four round burst weapon, and uh, hands down, one of the best ones. Moving on to the gear, I have a Q6 sensor, of course. Once again, you can rock stim shot, you can rock body armor. I love a Q6 sensor, though. Um, and then for the perks, I have scavenger, gung ho, and dead silence. Also, guys, if you don't want to run dead silence, you can hands down run ghost as well. Uh, maybe if you want to, you know, remove a certain attachment, you can run ghost and dead silence as well to just be more extra stealthy so it's completely up to you guys once again these class setups are more or less just like a base just like a starting class setup for you guys so in case you're having trouble you know where you should start in black ops 4 to make your class setups uh you guys can rock mine and then you know build off that you guys can build off these maybe you don't want to run scavenger maybe you don't find the need to run scavenger maybe you're just not that great of a player and you don't get on streaks so you don't find the need for scavenger maybe you can run flak jacket or tactical mass these, these class setups are completely flexible you can do whatever you want with these guns and whatever you want with these class setups like i said i'm just giving you guys a base a starting area for your class setups in black ops 4 so moving on to the next one here we have the gks this is the only submachine gun i'm going to be talking about within this video i really really love the gks a lot i would say it's like a mini icr really so for the attachments i have reflex i have grip grip 2 and quick draw now moving on to the gear a q6 sensor scavenger gung-ho and dead silence i really like the gks it probably is the best smg in black ops 4 and uh you know in this game in black ops 4 currently as i'm recording this video uh the most dominant weapons right now are the assault rifles and the tactical rifles hands down black ops 4 is an assault rifle type of game not many people use you know submachine guns at all at all because they're just you know inferior to the rest uh but i really do like the gks uh the mx9 in the beta it was really really good not many people rock the mx9 anymore some people rock the spit fires i see some people rocking the corday actually not really too many people rocking corday and then the sog you just unlock it so so late it does have the dual wield sort of operator mod on it which kind of makes it a little bit more fun but hands down i think the most stable and the most consistent smg in the game is the gks right here the mini icr i would say i've dropped a nuclear with this gun i've dropped a nuclear with this exact class setup and i if you guys want to rock an smg to you know kind of be fast and quick and you know up in their face really not really sit back like an assault rifle hands down i would rock the gks it's probably the most consistent weapon here in black ops 4 and i think you guys are really going to like it now last but not least for the custom class setup the maddox now everyone i feel like is kind of sleeping on the maddox here it is the final assault rifle you do unlock you unlock it pretty late in the game but i feel like everyone is sleeping on this gun i'm not too sure why i don't know it's it's a really really good gun it's more or less for medium to short ranges it's not very good to long ranges so i would say try to you know maybe run this assault rifle kind of like an smg at some point where you kind of want to rush into their spawn a bit uh you know you want medium to short short ranges like i said long ranges is not really this gun's forte so try to keep a close quarter with this gun but it's a very very good gun i see a lot of people sleeping on this weapon i'm not too sure why moving on to the attachments though we have elo we have fast mags quick draw and stock uh, for the gear q sensor scavenger gung-ho and dead silence here's my exact class setup for the maddox right here and uh, guys i have to say i've had a lot of time played so far on black ops 4 i do know a lot of the great you know perks a lot of the great setups right here and i think these class setups are going to help you guys out a ton once again and i just want to say this again these class setups are here to kind of build a, a starting point for you guys you can build off this class setup you can work around this class setup. you can put perks that you feel you might need i'm not really too sure on how your guys's play style is i'm not too sure how good of a player you guys are but these class setups are made for you guys to kind of just have a building and a starting point where you guys can build off and uh, you guys can put on whatever you like maybe for this vapor you might want i don't know you can take off tactical mask keep flak jacket and maybe put on ghost and dead silence so you're maybe extra stealthy like this vapor class setup is really really good you can work a, a lot of ways with this gun and especially with a lot of the other classes um but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did remember to drop a like subscribe to the channel as well i hope this video helped you guys out a ton because i get constant questions right away what is this gun what attachments are you running on the icr what attachments are you running on the vapor so i said you know what let me just make a class setup a video right here the top five class setups that i run thank you guys all so much for watching i hope you guys have a great shoot day drop a like subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys next time big threat eh oh, i got a chopper you got the chopper <laughs> i love this game oh more base in the wall no he just said he's a
They're sniping, bro. There's a lot of snipers, man. Be careful. I think they're going for that, for that uh, homage challenge. Tan, I dropped a rainbow nuclear. And I'm on another streak, so. Let's see how this one pans out. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let me use mine. Oh, wait. Okay. I'm 10 points away from the strike team, so. Wait, someone just. Someone pushed up so hard. I see this guy mid. No! They were really trying to kill me. Oh my god. Okay, I called in the chopper. No! Got another UAV. <laughs> Yo, I don't want to push that. I don't want to. I don't want to go this side. Yeah, I don't want to push that. They just all spawned behind me. I got the nuclear, secured it. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. I, I died, I died. They looked at my body too. I got the nuclear though. Uh, 